Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I wanted to show you how to use the UiPath Studio Get Outlook Mail Message Activity and specifically get some email messages from Outlook and go through the body of them and one at a time display the content inside of the body. I'm just going to do a display. You know, you could write it to a CSV file or a database or something like this. But this will show you the basics on how to go through the bodies of your email messages using the Get Outlook Mail Message Activity. So to kick this off, I'm going to create a new process. And this process is just going to be called get outlook email body, because I'm going to get the bodies of all of the emails inside of Outlook. I'm going to create that. And as that's being created, I'm just going to go over to Outlook and show you that I got one, two, three, four, five, six different emails in here. And there's a bunch of different bodies. Do you mind if I borrow some money? Hey, uh, thanks for the the tutorials, my mom saying, hey, can you come fix my computer? And what I want to do is I want to read all of these emails in and subsequently display the body of all of these emails in a little message box. And so with UiPath Studio started, I'm going to open the main workflow window and then come over here into the activities and say, hey, I want to actually use an Outlook activity and specifically get all of my Outlook mail messages. So I'll drop that on here. You see get Outlook mail messages. Notice that only unread messages is checked. If I leave that checked and I don't have any unread messages, I'm not going to get any content back. So be careful. If you're just using this as a tutorial, you may not have any unread messages. So you'll want to deselect that. Now, if you're running in production with an email account that has 10,000 email messages in it that are all read, um, you might have a problem with processing um, if you don't have that selected. But for this example, I've got that deselected. So that's one thing you want to check. And then when this runs, I want to take all of the results of reading all of the Outlook mail messages and store them in a variable. And because there's a bunch of mail messages there, it has to be a list or a collection or a set. So I'm going to add a new variable here. And the variable is going to be of type list. So I have to browse for types and look for list. And you'll see a generic list right there, systemcollections.generic. That's the list type that I want. Now, a list holds other objects, and the other objects that this list is going to be holding is going to be male message objects. So there we go, the male message object as opposed to the female message object. So I've got a generic list of male message objects, and that all looks very, very handsome to me. Now, one thing that's not handsome is the variable name, so I'll call that email messages. Everything seems to be set up correctly here. So I go back to my sequence and my get Outlook mail message activity. And I say when this runs, I want the results of this running to be stored in this variable, email messages. Okay, so that looks good. I think that's all set up there. Now, the next step is to actually loop through all of those messages one at a time. So that means going into the workflow option, taking a look at some of the control flow, and specifically pulling this for each option onto the sequence underneath get Outlook mail messages. And what this is going to do is it's going to loop through all of those mail messages. And of course, I've got that variable called email messages right there. I'm going to change that to just email. I think it just uh, reads a little bit letter, a little bit better if I say for each email in the email messages, do something. And what I want to do is I want to display the body. Now, there's actually one thing that wasn't set up for me right now. And you'll notice right here, the argument type is of type object. That's not going to be very helpful because uh, I can't gain access to any of the properties that are inside of the mail message type. So under argument type, don't leave it as object. What you want to do is you actually want to find the system.net.mail.mail message and specify that so that we can access some of the properties of this email. And when I say specify some of the properties of the email, I mean like things like maybe the body or the from attribute. And I'm going to do that by I'm going to do that when I actually display the message. So under drop activity here, what do I want to do is I go through all of these emails. Well, I'd like to display the content of the body in a message box. So I'm going to go over here and drag this message box system dialog activity on. And in here, I'm going to say I want the email body to be turned into a string and displayed in this message box. And when that's done, I think I can conclude setting this whole thing up. So I've got my one variable 
and that variable is used to hold all these Outlook messages. We then loop through that variable, the email messages variable, and for each email message, we display its body in a message box. So I'm gonna click Save, and then I'm gonna run this, and let's see what happens. As I run it, well, right away, it starts to say, hey, just wanted to say thank you for what you're doing, so that's really good. So that uh, maps up to this one here, and then the next one is Callie asking me for some money until payday. My mom saying that she needs my computer fixed and then a couple of other emails about some of my tutorials. And there you go. That's how you use the get Outlook mail message. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use the get Outlook mail message activity in UiPath Studio. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials and articles on enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.